Hi friends, it's Linda here and it's all about butterflies. Butterflies are one of my most favorite insects because they go through this really cool transformation and they just make the world a more beautiful place. One of my most favorite places to visit is in Niagara Falls, Ontario, where they have a butterfly conservatory. So there are literally thousands of exotic butterflies flying around freely in an open inside space, and sometimes they'll even land on you. You gotta check it out, it is so cool. So cool, in fact, I've included a few pictures of them in this video. So let's get into the topic. Butterflies are cold-blooded and require a body temperature of about 29 degrees Celsius in order to activate their flight muscles. And they actually have four wings, not two. Their wings are probably their best protection. They can fold them up to blend in with their surroundings, or they can show off that bright full spectrum of colors to frighten their predators away. And they survive on a liquid diet using something called the proboscis, which is pretty much like a really long straw. And get this, a butterfly actually tastes using their feet. So if a butterfly lands on you, it probably just means that it's hungry. Let's take a look at some common butterflies to Ontario, starting with the Painted Lady. There's the White Admiral. the orange sulfur, and my favorite tiny blue butterfly, the spring azure. The tiger swallowtail, which is one of our larger butterflies, and the list goes on and on, but we better stop there. So you might ask yourself, what's the difference between a moth and a butterfly? Well, aside from the obvious, moths are more nocturnal, so they're more active at night, whereas butterflies are more diurnal, they're more active during the day. But there is a distinct physical difference in their antenna. So moths have antenna that have feathery like edges, if you look really closely, whereas butterflies, their antenna resembles more of a club. They have a ball at each end. And overall, butterflies tend to be more colorful than moths, but there's one of my favorite moths, you're gonna love it, here it comes. There it is, the Cecropia moth, the largest moth found in North America. Now notice when you look at the wings, moths tend to hold their wings out in more of a tent-like fashion compared to a butterfly who holds their wings up over their heads. And butterflies tend to be a little more colorful, but in my opinion, they're both beautiful. Using the monarch as an example, butterflies go through a life cycle. They start off as an egg, and then after about four days, they hatch into the larva stage. In other words, they hatch into a caterpillar. Now the caterpillar's main job is just to get enough milkweed to eat in order to grow. Then after about two weeks, the caterpillar will be fully grown and has to find a place to attach itself so it can begin that process of metamorphosis. It's here that they go into the pupa stage or form their chrysalis, and it's really impressive. It remains in the chrysalis from anywhere between 8 to 15 days before emerging as an adult, the final stage. And the monarch butterfly is most famously known for being North America's longest migrating insect. It travels about 5,000 kilometers to Mexico every year. Now how cool is that? It's a beautiful day. Don't forget to check out that butterfly conservatory in Niagara Falls and get outside and enjoy nature.